So there are three commonly known types of hibiscus, one being the tropical hibiscus, which is normally grown in more southern areas such as Florida where they would thrive outside in the heat. Those are also sold in the north as house plants where you can bring them out in summer where they'll thrive even more and then bring them back in for fall and winter. And then you have the shrub hibiscus, such as this Peru Winters Sugar Tip Rosa Sharon and some of the other chiffon series that you have from Peru Winters. Now these are bred to resemble more of a pillar like shape, um, but come springtime, you'll start seeing a lot of this growth and now is a perfect time to prune it back to whatever shape or form you want to. But these will quickly start growing and start putting on some buds. And then we have the big dinner plate hibiscus, the ones that everybody loves. Come summertime, they start putting out those big, beautiful blooms. We're gonna go and talk about that one real quick. Okay, so if you've never grown a hardy hibiscus before or a dinner plate hibiscus before, you're probably wondering, is my hibiscus alive right around this time? Now we're in a zone 7B and for the most part, if you have a hibiscus that has been established for a while, now this one's only been established for a good eight to nine months already since we planted it in, you're gonna have a lot more woody uh, growth on it that you may need to prune back. But a lot of the concerns are, is it still alive? Now around this time of year, you're gonna start seeing a lot of this growth shoot up. Now these types of hibiscus, this is the Summerific series hibiscus from Peru and Winters. These hibiscus do not grow from the stems. It actually comes from the ground. So that's what you need to look out for. Once you start seeing that growth, it's very quickly gonna start putting on growth inch by inch over a matter of a couple of days and you'll really start to see it take off. All right, so as I continue talking about this uh, hibiscus real quick, uh, I'm gonna get the tag from Angie, which uh, she broke. Just to give you a bit more details. Now this is a, this is a summerific perfect storm. It's a full sun apart sun hibiscus. It grows about 36 inches tall and 36 inches wide. Now this area right here, we're still working on because we want to make sure we give this hibiscus enough room to grow. Now this one is hardy in zone four to nine and can withstand temperatures of negative 30 degrees. Um, it blooms in midsummer through early fall. So if you want to be ready for summer week come first week of August, just follow these simple steps and you'll be ready to go. So again, the growth is gonna come from the actual ground. And what you wanna do, if you have a bigger hibiscus, obviously you're gonna have a bit more um, woody growth on it still. What you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and prune it back to about six inches. And that's all we're gonna do. And then we're gonna add a good slow release fertilizer. Now what I'm using here is um, palm tone. You're just gonna put it around the base of the roots a good handful. And then you're gonna water this guy in really, really good. These hibiscus can actually grow in soggy areas really, really well. So you wanna go ahead and start watering it with plenty of water as you start seeing that growth. And by the time summer starts coming around, you're gonna see a lot more growth. It's probably gonna be a good two to three feet tall. And once you start seeing some buds in there, then you wanna give it some water soluble fertilizer to give those flowers a lot more encouragement to start to grow. All right, now this is a very quick and down to the point tip on your hibiscus, uh, specifically these uh, dinner plate hibiscus. I know a lot of people typically tend to wonder if their hibiscus is dead. Now again, come fall, you're gonna start seeing it die back. In winter, you're gonna see a lot of woody growth and you're gonna be thinking, is my hibiscus still alive? If you follow these quick and easy tips and treated it really, really well, I guarantee you it'll start showing some growth just like this um, come next spring actually late spring again, because we are almost around mid to late spring, you'll start seeing that growth and it's when it's come time to prune it and it'll just come right back up again and you'll be ready for summer uh, to start seeing some big, beautiful blooms. But uh, that's it guys, it's a quick video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you took something from this and we'll see you guys in the next video.